Um, it you see has been always a concern about uh, uh, gender equality and world life balance and uh, we are living in a very key moment uh, focus on the coming decisions on world life balance uh, directive that will we will expect that will be uh, achieved and done very soon in March in the European Parliament. Why is important world life balance for us? Because it's for us is a, a way to extend rights. The more important thinking European, because it's a European directive, is that will be an important tool to extend rights to workers and citizens. Will be good for the economy, because we'll provide more tools to mothers and fathers to dedicate their time to their children. Will break stereotypes also, because will not oblige, but will promote that fathers and uh, partners take ownership of this responsibility that of care of children. And at the same time, World Life Balance is not only dedicated to families, it's dedicated to people that want to have, to conciliate uh, family life and private life, and, and, and to share that with a good professional career. And in terms of removing obstacles. If mothers, they don't need to choose because they have more tools available, more uh, leaves, paid leaves especially, available, maybe we will resolve this demographic problem that we have in Europe that mothers very often they need to choose or to have a professional career or to dedicate. This is not a question, this is not an issue that uh, uh, fathers or men are in the same level of responsibility. And for that reason, we think that this directive will contribute as part of the whole package of the social pillar. That for us is a, as a proposal that we need to fulfill because it's a good declaration, it's a good proclamation, but we need to fulfill this good idea with tangible initiatives that help citizens. If citizens in Europe, they don't see Europe as a solution, and if they don't see that world life balance could be a good a good message, social message for citizens, our e idea of Europe will be at stake, will be in, in travels. For that reason, we have been pushing for this initiative. We have been working with the Commission. Unfortunately, we, we, we didn't succeed to attract the employers to this uh, initiative. It was our aim. And uh, at the end, uh, well, they are obliged by this directive at all citizens and we have big expectations because the care uh, leaves can suppose uh, big and important help for uh, carers, mothers and fathers, but it's also important the two months on non-transferable parental leave. This is a revolution in several countries. Ten days of paid paternity leave, when in some European countries you only have the day that your baby is arrives to this world for to say, hello, I'm your father, I return to work. For that reason, we think that we have been pushing for a, a world idea, that is the conciliation, reconciliation idea, and even if it's not the ideal, we welcome very much, and we think that also through the collective agreements, through the collective bargaining, because now it needs to be implemented at national level, it's very important the role that our members, our affiliates will play at national level with governments, and why not, in some cases, they will improve. And also for countries that they have a fantastic system, there is the non-regression clause, means there is no rules, no ob obstacles for to have this directive, thinking European, in a moment that social Europe is back. Mm -hmm.